Hi, hello, my name is Thomas Kim. In this session of video, I'm going to show you how to detect memory leak in CRT and MFC application. For more information, please visit these links. I will put these links in comment section below. To understand the documentations about CRT and MFC memory detection, please visit this website here. You can leave more information from this website. And also leave to finding and using memory leak. You can get more information in this MFC debugging technique and also finding memory leak using CRT library, this document, and also CRT debug heap details. Okay, now let's get started. I start a Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, I create an empty solution. Here I will create an empty solution. It will be uh, CRT, let me say detect, detect memory leak. Create, I create a blank solution, then I will add new project, uh, Win32 console application, mm, CRT uh, memory, memory detect. Here I will just click finish. Okay, for more information, please, please read this document. After watching my video, if you have questions, then read these three documents. Here, I will create an M uh, header file. I will name it CL header file. I will name it CRT, no, memory. I will name like this. No. Memory leak. CRT mem leak. I will say like this here. And we need to define the EFI and define CRT DBG debug. CRT debug map a LLOC then uh, we need include CSTD STD STD LIV then include C RT CRT DBZ H. Then we are defining a macro if DEF debug debug if debug is defined then and if like this here DEF INE define DBZ debug uh, DBZ, DBZ means debug, new, new, here, normal, normal, block, and file, then line. Please note that I've, I typed in two underscore characters like this. And else, then define dbz 
new. I define like this. Okay, then we can have another define if if the the app debug and and if like this here define new tbz new okay we saved it so you have to remember these three order three order these orders should be preserved order of define and include should be preserved. Okay. So now we have we save it here. We include include CRT memory leak. Then here save it. We need to, I will include one more, some IO stream, include IO stream and using namespace std. Then here and underscore CRT set TVZ flag like this then CRT DBZ uh, a L memory D up pa then CRT DBZ uh, leak D up like this and semicolon here then CR CRT no, this is enough now we create an uh, CRT mem state, CRT mem state, MS. MS means memory state, old, MS, new, MS, DIFF. I will create three. Then I, I allocate PTR, PTR new. And INT, for example, I will create INT just single, just one INT integer. Then before before we allocate, before we allocate CRT mem uh, checkpoint MS old. Before after memory allocation CRT mem checkpoint MS new then here at this point we compare CRT mem uh, difference like this the first result result target MS DIFF it should be memory address DIFF, then MS, then it should be all the state, old, then MS, this should be new state, new, like this. And this is function, if memory is, memory is leaked different, then it will return true. So we can say here, SCD, CL, you can say uh, MS DIFF. Uh, this is total count, memory leaked count. SDD and there. Here, I will put message memory leaked like this. And I will put this is byte count actually bytes. Okay. 
Okay, so I will put here here uh, C in cat C out press in here like this STD and there. Now we will plug it, we will enclose it in the block like this. Okay. So everything is done. If this we allocate dynamically an integer here, but at this point the integer is gone. We we lost the pointer here. So before before allocating memory, we take snapshots. This is takes memory snapshot. Take memory snapshot. And after we take memory snapshot, take memory snapshot. This is new in old memory snapshot. This is new memory snapshot here. We compare the two memory, old memory, new memory, and the, the, it, MSDIFF gives difference. So if it is different, this function returns true. So, and if using this, we understand, we can find how many bytes are leaked. This way, we run F5. Now this time, I press F5. So, 4 bytes, memory leaked 4 bytes, an integer is leaked, I press enter. After enter, you can see dump object, 4 bytes long, memory leak was detected. This way, I pressed F5, but if I press Ctrl F5, Ctrl F5, here 4 bytes memory leak was detected, enter, you cannot see message here. So this way we can detect memory. Of course, this is work only debug build. So when only when debug debug underscore debug is defined, this mechanism works. So we have to filter it out like this. If the if the if debug, then here. And if like this, we also escape it if the EF debug and here, uh, here, and if we have to escape like this, so. If debug debug is defined, then this code is executed. This this block of code executed. If not, if debug underscore debug is not defined, then then only this code will be executed. Or we can put it here instead of we can put it here like this, and also we can put it here like this okay now f control f5 th this way we can trace we can detect memory leak so this is console console application now we are going to move mfc mfc memory detection the logic is actually the same now right click new project instead of I will say MFC, MFC, uh, MFC memory detect like this. Please note that I create cancel. Please note that I selected Winsor the cancel application. Okay. Next, here I select MFC. Okay. Here I select MFC. Finish. At this point, this is MFC application. It is Win32 console application, but we can use MFC here.
to use MFC application in MFC feature in console application, we have to put our code here at this point. To do that, instead we will make a simple function like int uh, start here. I make a function like this return. I made a function start here function. Then I I copy it. I I call it from here like this. And let's start a uh, return. You can do like this. So if I put a, I will add here include include I/O stream. Then also using name namespace std. So save it. Now I will put std see out hello uh, console with mfc std and there. Now I will run it control F5. Sorry. I have to select this one as start the project. Then I run control F5. Run it. Now it works. So this way we can use MFC feature in our application. Mm, let me see. Let me see here. It's actually everything is prepared to detect. For example, we will, for example, we will create int ptr new uh, int. I allocate just a single integer. Then I run. Con not control F5. I press F5. Okay. I press F5. I press F5. If you see, you can see in output window memory detected, memory leak detected, four byte detected. So if we use, if we uh, import, if, if we support MFC application, MFC feature in our console application, we don't need to do anything. We just can use. Now I will, I will do the same as before. C mem C mem memory memory C memory state. I will say ms old ms new ms tiff. I create this three. Now I will I will again put it in the block here. Now uh, ms old snap checkpoint like this we put a checkpoint here after using ms new checkpoint sorry checkpoint so now ms diff you can say uh, let me see difference T I difference like this and all the state in your state MS or please note that this is reference here reference so MS new and it gives if it is different memory leak is detected then it returns true so we can say STD see how memory leak detected like this then ms diff also again we can use the same thing like uh, total byte and std and there it's actually the same as before Vice. now let's run we can Click both F5. I just press F5. So 
So I will put here uh, scene cat f5 again. See, memory leak provides detected. In output window, here, we can see memory leak detected. See, the dump object, memory leak detected, like provides like this. So this way, we can detect memory memory leak both in MFC and CRT application. So using this technology, uh, I am going to debug our Plex and Lex application. Thank you for watching.